Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Midori Sunset. This is a simple layered cocktail that's perfect for any time of the year to give you those tropical vibes. And you just need a couple of ingredients, so let's talk about those. The first thing you need is some orange juice. Now I'm using some fault-free orange juice, and you could choose to just squeeze your own oranges depending on what you have available to you. The next thing you need is Midori liqueur, of course. Now, Midori liqueur is made with Ybarri and musk melons and has a, a melon taste that in North America, you might associate with honeydew melons. The next thing you need is a good vodka. Now I'm using Tito's Handmade Vodka. It's a 40% ABV, simple and easy to get pretty much anywhere. You also need some grenadine. Now in this case, I'm using a little bit of roses. It's what I have on the shelf, but if you wanna make your own, absolutely the best way to go, in my opinion. Having said that, we need to build this in two parts just to get our layering right. And we're going to start with a mixing glass. Now, this first part you could shake if you wanted to. However, uh, I hurt my shoulder recently and I'm just gonna stir it because this part has no fruit juice in it. So we're going to start with our vodka. You don't need a lot. We're going to start with one ounce, which works out to 30 milliliters. The second ingredient that you're going to use is your Midori. Now again, if you don't have Midori available to you where you are, you can use any type of green melon liqueur that you like. And we need a total of one ounce or 30 milliliters as well. Now the reason that we're stirring that is because of the density of the Midori liqueur. Now, if you're unaware, for layering purposes, Midori or any other liqueur has a lot of sugar in it. What that does is makes it heavy when you add it to a cocktail, so it automatically flows to the bottom, but we don't want that to happen in this cocktail. So what we're going to do is we mix it with the vodka, which thins out the amount of sugar that's there. And next we add a little bit of ice. And what we'll do is we will just stir this so that we can dilute it a little bit. It'll also cool it down. So just throw the teardrop end in and give it a stir. Okay, now that you've done that, just put this off to the side because we're now going to build this directly into your glass. So grab yourself a pint glass, uh, which is 15 to 16 ounces, uh, 480 mils, give or take. Having said that, uh, the reason I say that is because the total volume plus ice will be pretty much right up to the top. So we're gonna fill this with fresh ice. Simple and easy. The third ingredient that you're going to use here is orange juice. Now, as I said, I'm using pulp free, but you need a total of four ounces, which is 120 mils. And for the second set of two ounces. Now I did that in two ounce increments because it just makes things a little bit easier. Having said that, your next step is to grab yourself a little bit of your grenadine. And we're not going to use a lot, we just need about a half ounce, a little bit less, which is 15 mils. And you'll just pour it on the top because you want it to create that sunset effect. This is where the magic now begins to happen. So what you wanna do is grab yourself your julep strainer and if you just have a Hawthorne strainer, it'll work too because it'll fit in there. And you just wanna use the pour spout on your stirring glass to layer it on top like so. That is a thing of beauty. Absolutely gorgeous look at those colors. Now, uh, if you wanted to garnish this, you could throw a red cocktail cherry if you want. I just don't care because the drink looks good enough for me to drink. So let's try it out. Mm, really good. Although it's sweet at the bottom, let's give this a bit of a mix just to incorporate everything because your initial sip here is always gonna be very sweet. Oh yeah, really good. Once it's mixed up, absolutely fantastic. It's lightly sweet and you know what? It doesn't pack a huge punch so you can drink a few of these during the afternoon with a few of your friends. Now, if you like sunset or sunrise style cocktails, here, take a look right here.